Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm gonna play an audio clip and also post a picture so you can see how this auntie is standing on business with her niece. The mama is standing by, but the mama hasn't said anything. The mama doesn't say anything until the very end. So what is you doing? Cause this is my sister house and I can be wherever I wanna be and who gonna put me at? I will. You, you won't, you won't. Golly. And what, you're not. Baby, just go change. That's her best bet because I ain't going nowhere till she changed, bro. I don't care. Look at her. Just everything about to fall off. Don't put some sweatpants and t shirts on, bro. I like you. Well, be boring. You need to be boring. You're a mom now. Can't even keep the shirt up on you. It ain't no JoJo. That's the problem now. Go get some of your mama clothes and put on. Go get some of your mama clothes and put on. You're trying to get Rihanna Nith and Rihanna pregnant? Rihanna pregnant? Agree. Yes, baby, you do need to change. It took you that long to say something to her? Look. Look, what? I understand my niece, too. People tell me when they see her on the street dressed like they did, like, hey, I'm not going home. I'm staying right here till she change clothes. So, what are you doing? Because this is my sister's house. And I can be wherever I want to be. And who's going to put me at? Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, you see in this clip that oftentimes the godly woman or the Yah fearing woman will often have a view that's opposed to the worldly women. She will often be you know, made out to be the villain or the enemy because she is trying to do what the book actually says. This auntie, she said, man, I'm not going nowhere with you dressed like that. And this is, this girl has to be uh, late teens, uh, 20 or early 20s. And we hear by the audio that she's pregnant. You got to understand there was no mention of no husband. There was no mention of this. And the auntie is pretty much trying to give the correction. And the mama is standing by, not saying anything. You know, we need a lot more women in our community like the auntie that's willing to stand on business. Man, there's times in my house, even with, even, you know, as a father, I've said some of those same things. We ain't going nowhere. So you go back in that room, change some clothes. I don't care. I don't care if we got the doggone, do a doggone uh, a fashion runway show until I approve of what you have on. Because you got to understand, man, as a woman, being a weaker vessel, you're going to follow all these trends. You're going to follow all this stuff. And the last thing on your mind is actually covering up your body, having some true respect for yourself. And it's a it's a doggone uh, shame that the mama, the mama should have been the one handling this. You know, you got a lot of young women that mothers endorse their harlotry behavior. You know, mothers, it's not your job to be your daughter's friend. You have a job and you are the first line defense of making sure she understands what biblical womanhood is about. And the mama was kind of hesitant to even say anything. That's the bad part, was kind of hesitant. And this is your daughter who's already uh, going against, uh, you know, biblical guidance. See, this is what I say, man, there, there, it does no good in just simply taking somebody to church there has to be somebody in the family, you know, a, a mother or father that's walking in Torah, that's walking according to the law. What good is it if you know all of you can recite all these, about, but you can't execute and demonstrate and fulfill 
the commandments, the precepts, the law, statutes as a mother. You know, man, I, I, I'm definitely thankful that this young lady at least has one person being her auntie that was giving her guidance for the betterment of her. And here's the thing. Everybody wants the blessings that come from the light, but don't nobody want to walk in the truth of the light. And that's what, that is the, 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 the gap that has to be filled. You don't get to have this aura, get to have this light, get to say you are righteous while walking as an iniquity worker and unrighteous. The word in Ecclesiastes talks about not giving your daughter liberty to go abroad. Because if you do give her too much liberty, she will allow every thirsty traveler. She'll spread her legs for every thirsty traveler. And you have to think, man, the word in Proverbs, it talks about a woman dressed as in harlot, dressed in the attire of a harlot. See, mothers, you have to try to find and look at this stuff from a biblical perspective. But first thing, you got to be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. The Holy Spirit is not going to, if you are filled with the genuine Holy Spirit, it's not going to allow you to sit up there and justify your daughter going out half naked. It's just not going to justify it. The problem is, oftentimes, you will try to justify their harlotry and their harlot attire because you like moving in the same tight clothes. You can't give correction where you yourself have erred in. Man, that young lady need to be thankful. She got an auntie that, that kept it real and raw with her. Kept it real and raw for her, her doggone salvation sake. But yeah, we need more aunties. Uh, we need more mamas. For your daughter, you gotta think, when you see these young ladies out here butt naked. Now I know, you know, school age girls, they'll change clothes and do all that and put stuff in a backpack, but you gotta, you gotta get ahead of that. Some of these little girls, they be out I've seen young ladies out with their butt cheeks hanging out in the presence of their mama. This is crazy. I have to teach my daughter who doesn't live with me, you know, I have to teach her this when she's here. I, as a father, have to teach her self-respect for her body and how dangerous not being respectful of your own body is as a woman. She doesn't get that at home. She doesn't get that. That's not that, that you know... Some people, when it comes to this, man, some of the only thing they can think about, okay, let me just go to church once a week and I'm good. But the actual demonstration of walking upright as a mother, as a woman, is the last thing on their mind. This auntie was trying to drive it home and I'm 100% I'm in support of it. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.